In Camden, Rutgers biologists are probing some of the basic mechanisms that enable a single cell to develop into an animal. Working with fruit flies, they're finding new ways to study how networks of genes interact in the earliest stages of development. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. Fruit fly research, basic to the science of genetics for more than a century, has produced many new insights and experimental tools over the past few decades with the rise of modern genomics and the integration of biology with information sciences. Nir Yacobi and his students are building on that base to address some fundamental questions by focusing on 14 stages in the development of embryonic fruit fly eggshells. Any multicellular organism has to go from being single-celled to multi-celled and uh, there's many different genes that play a role in that. In the past, geneticists typically considered one gene at a time, as it might be expressed, for example, in a particular shape, color, pattern, or other trait. A gene cannot work by itself. A development is actually a very, very complex event uh, or process, and uh, you use the same gene in multiple events and in multiple connections in order to get to the final uh, product. Most of their experiments explore gene networking, as they call it, within a single species of fruit fly. But they also look at egg development across a number of different fruit fly species to shed light on evolutionary issues. I compare their uh, physical features on their egg, egg uh, shell and see how they're, they're different. And then I take that one step further and try to apply how cell signaling is is how the cell signaling differs to create those differences in the physical features. Their research progresses through a loop of interactions between actual lab work and increasingly realistic modeling of fruit fly biology. You model it, so you put it in the computer program and you ask the question, can I manipulate something and get the same thing in the tube? So you train your system, your program, um, on existing data, and then you can ask the, uh, other questions that are more complicated. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Camden.